customer called that the car wasn't starting after the belt got done the drive belt got done so he called me that his car wasn't starting and i went in to check if it has jammed so now the drive belt is done and it has damaged the cover uh, the timing cover and it has entered into the pulling so it jumped it jumped the timing after when the drive belt got ten, done so I diagnosed it and find out that it has jumped the timing so you can see where the turn belt entered and jump the drive the timing itself so it has damaged the timing case so I took it to the shop and took off all the case in all the belts because it has jump time so it has bent the valves the inlet valves all of them are bent so whenever you try to start it, it just run so we took off the head to replace the valve which are bent which which are the inlet valves all the inlet valves are bent totally they are bent and we took it off to replace them and change the head gasket because the engine has been open so after replacing all of them fixing the timing belt again and we try to start it so that you can move. So, okay, so we have blog about all it. Yeah, 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 about all it. You know After overhauling, uh, head overhauling, everything is running okay. The temperature is normal, the RPM is long, and it reached normal here too. This is my auto scoop, the Mazi scoop, and I have already set up. I have already connected my one to the cam sensor, then this one to the cam sensor, then this one to the ignition. The ignition port. So I'm going to connect the scope to it on all the ground to the battery ground. I'm going to connect the scope to my Mazi scope. So I have set I have set three scope up. And I'm about to go to the Mazi scope so I will take the light 
to start. So it's now finding the device. Mm, that's the that's the ignition. So I'll turn. So the ignition the ignition is number one. And this is the ignition pattern. I'll turn scope to up, and that's the uh, the channel B is the crank and channel C is the cam. So let me set them up green. And one thing, one thing I like about the scope when you are using it with the laptop, it's a bit difficult. But when you are using it on the scope itself, you can work on it. Like you can, you can co collect all the data and post it. This car has been running for about three hours after overhauling, so I can co collect all this data and pause it so now I'm, I'm taking a lot of frames then i'll pause it or if i like i can change the time base but now as i'm collecting all this data i'll save mm, the cam is not above five the crank two is not above five so channel a is the ignition channel B is the cam and channel C a uh, channel B is the crank and the channel C is the cam so now let me go back that means I've paused the channel so I can zoom out and get the right data that I'm searching for and even close it a bit so that yeah. that's why I like using the Mazi scope when I'm using so I can push yes then that's the ignition so it's a six cylinder so this ignition one two three four five six then one so and this is how the cam pattern is the cam pattern it starts from here then you count you start from the big profile then you count one count one two three so let me take a line here And measure or oh, let me measure it from this side to this side. So uh, it it jumped the timing and it got all the teeth, all the valve, twelve valve, the inlet valves got bent. So I replaced the inlet valve and I overhaul it. So now I can also zoom it this way. Zoom it whilst it is live. So now I want to collect uh, some amount of data. Then I will save. I will save it. So I can change the time base. And it will collect a lot of data. So let's go to 10 milliseconds. Yeah. So uh, this is the pattern that we will be getting. And
So now I've changed the time base to 50 milliseconds per division. So now I'll save this data that I've collected. So that next time I can come I can come for it and I have already saved data in it so I'll save it Pajaro 2009 3.0 3.0 data engine good come and crank with so I'll say So now I take up this and also save it again. Then Bajaro two thousand three point zero. Let's change it. So now after saving it I can open I can open the old one that I saved which is this one that's the bad timing so when I open it I move to here yeah. so now you can see the pattern it's, it's a bit different when it, it, it jumped and the ignition the ignition wasn't sparking at all now uh, the green one is the injectors and it's not coming up at all so with this i can go to reference and refer it to so save reference channel a channel v yes then let me start with Recall reference, yes. So it will recall the channel A reference so that we can compare. This one is the crank wave, so it's, it's the same thing, but just that the pattern, the pattern is different and you can see it matches so let's say let's take this big teeth go to this so this is this is the reference so you see it, it, it's, a, it's a bit different when it comes to the garden so i can do another reference i can do another reference on the come so i can save a reference so let me go to open i'll open the old timing mm. let me clear the reference score so i'll go to the old timing then And I'll go to save reference. Channel A, save this reference. Channel V, save. 
okay that means i can save only one reference so now i want to know i want to so let me go back let me start a new one let me try to open up a bit don't run away so come in so i can go to recall reference the yeah, recall reference reference a reference to so yeah here is the recall of the of the reference that i recall so i record the reference of the cam and I, I can also recall the reference of the crank. So you see this pattern. So that means it, it jumped. So let me recall. So I can also save the reference of this cam to compare it with the other one. So let me save this reference. Start. Let me clear the reference. Clear reference. Start. Then go to this menu. Then save reference. And I save reference. Now I want to know that the timing jumped. So if I want to know the timing jump, or I want to use the scope to determine the timing jump, I have to save the reference. Then. Yes, I have to use the crown, the cam pattern of this. Or oh, sometimes I can use the, yeah, this one, the A. So I recall reference one. Yes. So data save. So I'll open timing. Now is the bad timing. that's the bad timing and even you can even see the jump isn't that much i, I think it's jump like three teeth so now it is i can recall the reference that i've saved so reference one yes hmm? So this is my reference. So even if you can see from here. Okay. Okay. So during that time all the injectors were working. So that's the injection injection path pattern the wave. The injectors were working. And you can you can even measure it with this. So let me take the time base of the injectors then and take another one. So this is the injector pattern. So uh, let me pull this the cam rather. Let me take the cam down to the pattern, and you see the difference. These are the spaces, the pit spaces in the crank. So you see the difference. I mean, it's, it's jammed, and even it's not in the same pattern with this. Thank you for watching. So I can go to start, and now the problem has been fixed. Uh, let me clear my reference out. Now the problem has been fixed, and everything is working fine. And you can even 
see it here so you can pick the inject the, uh, the ignition ignition coil and measure the time rate the time at which it ignites or the duration of the ignition so let's go here so let me enlarge it so that you can have a clear view of the injectors from this and remove the second time base to this so this is the duration at which the injector uh, the ignition sparks or uh, the rate at which the ignition sparks so it's 2.6 milli seconds the duration at which it sparks and it collapses that's 2.6 milliseconds and and this way oh let me see this when so let me cancel it let me see the pattern at which so we can even count the teeth and the, with, the, with the teeth it starts from this big space then one two then little space then one then one two three then the whole space then one two three so a complete cycle will be let's pick from here complete cycle will be one two big one two three big then one two one two big space one two three big space one two space one two So we can also use the ignition also. Like a whole complete cycle is being done. Okay, let me place it here. So So it takes So it takes 700 and, uh, 176 milliseconds for a whole complete cycle for the four cylinder for the six cylinder to complete a cycle. Thank you for watching.